and it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the session today. With me as my co-host is Hasiba Hamza, and I'll ask her to just introduce herself before we go into housekeeping rules. Hasiba, over to you. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, the presentation. Uh, well, um, I'm very happy to be here with you. So my name is uh, Hasiba Hamzi from Algeria, and I'm a team member of Yalda Publicity and Communication Department. So everyone, thank you very much for joining us today. Over to you, Grant. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Hasiba. And, and just to let all of you know, I am a member of the Youth Alliance for Leadership and Development in Africa. And I'm also a member of the AFCFTA Organizing Committee. So I warmly welcome all of you this evening. But just in terms of housekeeping rules, if I could please ask, there are two really important things. One is if we can make sure that we keep um, our mics muted. Um, when it is time for uh, individual contributions, we will individually unmute those um, individuals. And secondly is in an effort to save bandwidth, bandwidth, if we could please all just keep our videos off um, for the time being. Thank you very much. So as a starting point, why are we here this evening? Well, we have, between Hasiba and I, we have the privilege of being able to be a, announce the winners of the AFC FTA Youth Creative Competition. So to provide some context about this competition, Last year, um, on around September the 30th, Yalda, along with its partners, launched the creative competition that aims to break down information asymmetry amongst youth on the AFCFTA. The whole idea was to promote a bottom-up approach to the policy formulation and implementation by harnessing innovative youth-driven solutions. And really the purpose is to ensure that we activate youth engagement in the popularization of the AFCFTA, its tenants and its goals. The competition ran for two months and was open to all youth who are nationals of African countries, as well as those in the diaspora. The categories for this competition were as follows. There was an essay-based competition, there was an infographic competition and an animation category. Um, and these individual participants were able to participate in each of these categories and submit entrance to be considered by the adjudication panel. In the hope, of course, that you become the winners of this, the first edition of this competition. And now I'll just hand over to Hasiba, who will take us through some of the criteria that we followed um, in terms of being eligible to participate in this competition. Hasiba. Thank you. Thank you, Grant. So as we are dealing with the youth competition, the person should be a national of an African Union member state. He or she should submit a national ID as a proof of above be residing permanently or temporarily on the continent or the diaspora be aged between 18 and 35 years, and most of all, and uh, to, be, uh, to be eligible as well, the person should be passionate about Africa's development and a deeper understanding of the AFCFTA. Thank you. And now I'm going to start uh, from the third prize, the winner of the third prize will get 300 US dollars and the second prize winner will get 500 US dollars and overall the winner will get 1000 US dollars. 
And for the winner, he will have or she will have the possibility to, uh, to have a personal time with the Yalda and partner institutions, executive directors, presidents or chairpersons. He or she as well will uh, have uh, as well a freelance uh, contract for winners of the graphic design, animation and all communication work with the partner institutions. And lastly, he or she will have short internship opportunity at one of the partners institutions, AFCFTA Secretariat or UNDP for the essay category. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hasiba. Now we couldn't have put on a competition like this without a whole host of partners. So really we just want to acknowledge those partners that we've worked with. And specifically, we'd like to acknowledge the Afrism Bank, the AFCFTA Secretariat, the International Trade Center, UNECA, the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, and the United Nations Development Program. Together, they helped us create, collaborate, and put on this particular competition. So now to the more exciting part of this evening, it's the winners. So the first category that we will start off with is the animation winners. <laughs> And our third place entrant submitted the following um, submission. Let's, let's have a look. Hi, my name is Aliyu. I am 29 years old and I live in Nigeria. After graduating from school, I decided to start a beans farm in 2018 as a means of livelihood, rather than looking for a job, which are difficult to find anyway. So I did proper research. I got some land and used modern farming methods. Things went very well. The first yield was massive. But this quick success came with problems. I had much more beans than the local buyers could take. I looked into exporting, but the cost and tariffs made it too expensive to consider. I was devastated as I watched my beans and investment rot away. I was depressed and almost gave up on what was otherwise a successful business. Then I heard about the African Continental Free Trade Area a trade agreement across African countries, allowing businesses export services and products across Africa with zero tariff. This means I could export my beans to over 50 countries across Africa profitably. I am excited for the prospect this holds for me as a young person in business. It means more income for me, more jobs for other young people, as I will need to employ more people now to meet business demands. And of course, on a larger scale, this is growing my country's economy. I believe the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, the CFTA, will benefit young people all across Africa. And so in third place, it is my absolute pleasure to congratulate Daniel Merengua. Congratulations. Now on to second place. Let's see what they shared with us in their entrance 
in their participation. Thank you. Are you an African youth between the ages of 18 to 36 on the continent? Have you heard about the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement? Well, this is a project of the African Union, founded in 2018 to create a single market for products and services facilitated by movements of persons to promote industrial development and sustainable, inclusive social economic growth to deepen the economic integration of Africa. What's in it for the African youth? Employment creation. The youth in Africa make up a large majority of their nation's population, but unemployment is very high among them. With the AFCFTA in motion, 13 million Africans will be lifted out of extreme poverty and young Africans will make up two thirds of the number. Increased wages for young women. This initiative will lead to women having higher wage gains, 10.5% than which of men, which is 9.9%. Lower tariffs and increase in exports. There will be lower tariffs on goods as low as 90% off. For better trade, this will help youth-owned businesses to deliver their goods at better prices and get a share of 560 billion US dollars, which comes from increased exports. SMEs of the youth. The small and medium-sized enterprises of the youth will be able to benefit from investment opportunities, technological development, new markets. Also, what enterprises of the youth can benefit from this trade is reduction of manufacturing gap, avenues creation to make more well-paid jobs for other young people. Lastly, this trade will help in easing the process of importing raw materials from other African nations and thus lower cost of production for youth SMEs. So if you are a young African person ready to take your business outside the borders of your country, there has never been a better time. And in second place in that wonderful presentation was Theo Ditokwa. Congratulations, Theo. <laughs> And finally, the most exciting part, the winner of the animation category of the competition. Let's see what was submitted in first place. Hi, do you know him? Yes, I do too. He is a Nigerian artist who is one of the big biggest musicians in Africa. He exports his product, music, to other African countries and beyond through multiple streaming channels. Do you know how to? I don't think so. Zawadi is a young farmer from Kenya who bought land from her savings to farm maize. Her goal is to produce a lot of maize in order to solve the food shortage problem in Africa. However, Unlike her counterparts from Nigeria, she cannot easily export her products to the rest of Africa despite the demand for maize in these countries. She faces many problems like high tariffs, poor transportation routes, bulky custom procedures and much more. Just as the streaming channels allow his music to easily reach other African countries, the African Continental Free Trade Area was created to be the channel through which young people like Zawadi can get their products to the rest of Africa. The African Continental Free Trade Agreement was launched by African leaders to create a single market for goods and services. It plans to reach 1.3 billion people in 55 African countries, thus making it the largest global free trade area. 
How can youths benefit from the African Continental Free Trade Agreement? First, they will have jobs. Second, the agreement provides access to grants and loans at low interest rates to scale up businesses of young African entrepreneurs. Third, women like Zawadi make up 70% of informal cross-border traders in Africa. The African Continental Free Trade Agreement will empower them to increase their income and protect them from harassment and confiscation of their goods by overzealous customs officers. How can youths help achieve the African Continental Free Trade Agreement goals? First, spread the news. News not heard is news not worthy. Second, actively engage our political leaders through social media, forums and other channels to ensure the implementation of the agreement. Last but definitely not least, let your creativity loose. The opportunities presented by the African Continental Free Trade Agreement are boundless. This is our time. We must seize it. And that wonderful submission. And in first place, and my pleasure to announce Bolo Watife Eduronmo. Congratulations for winning the animation competition. <laughs> The next, so I'd like to ask uh, Bolu Watife, um, I, do, I think he should be on the call if you'd like to maybe just say a few words. Hello. You're welcome, Bolu Watife. Um, please go ahead, we can hear you. Thank you very much. Hello everyone, I am Bulwad Adiromo. I'm an animator, illustrator, and a medical doctor. I am excited to be selected to this competition. Sorry, Bulwad just if, if you can maybe just put on your camera, um, I think. Oh, okay. Yes, please, thank you. Um, can you see me now? Yes, thank you, you can oh. go ahead. Oh, okay, thank you. Hello, hello everyone. I am Bulad Fiaduromo. I'm an animator, illustrator, and a medical doctor. I am excited to be selected as a winner to this competition. All thanks to AFCFTA, Afrex Bank, and other distinguished partners. I appreciate my very good friend, Dr. Ola Jami Isa, who helped with this winning story and whose voice narrated it. Before this competition, I had a vague understanding of AFCFTA, let alone what role of youth play in it. But participating in this competition made me look deeper into what it is about. I internalized the knowledge and, and produced it in this animation, which I felt other African youth can relate to and understand the concept of AFCFTA. The youth make up 50% of the African continent and there has never been a time for us to stand up and make the most of our vigor for the betterment of Africa. You and I getting involved in AFCFTA is a good way to start this. I hope watching this animation will inspire you to get involved in AFCFTA because truly the opportunities are boundless. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Follow what you think. And just to recap our winners from first to third place. <laughs> Daniel Merengwa. <laughs> And now on to the next category, and I'll ask 
my co-host Hasiba to please indulge us with the winners of the infographics competition. Thank you. Thank you so much, Grant. Well, uh, now I would like to announce the infographics shortlisted. We have Naomi Patrick, also Samuel Richard, Aristide Ishimwe Dakebuka, Samuel Richard, Oidele Philemon Oluwa Koejo, and finally, Precious Lege. So now we are going to announce the winners of the infographics, which are, we have in the third place winner, we have, um, I just wanted to keep a little bit suspense. <laughs> we have for the third place, Aristide <laughs> For the second place winner, who is Samuel Richard. <laughs> and for the first place winner of the infographic is <laughs> so um, for the three winners uh, of the infographics of the infographics I would like to to all of the three to unmute yourselves and to turn on your cameras on. Thank you, over to you. Hi Hasiba, if we can just ask um, Oyodele to just maybe put on his video and uh, share a few words. Oh yes, sure, yes. Good day, everyone. I'm really excited. I'm very excited to be here. Thanks to Yaulda, thanks to the UNDP, thanks to Afrexin Bank official, thanks to all the stakeholders. The FCFTA is the leverage for African youth. This is our time. As my brother, Bulwatefe Adin Rumo has said, this is our time and the FCFTA is a platform, a leverage for our success as a continent and the realization of the Africa of our dreams. A very big thank you to all the organizers. I say a very big thank you. Thank you so much. So just a small uh, recap. So for the three winners, we have we have Aristide Dakebuka. We have also for the second place winner, Samuel Richard. And finally, the first winner of the infographic is Oidele Philemon Oluwa Koejo. So again, congratulations to all of you. Over to you. Thank you so much, Hasiba. You know, I'm looking at some of these entrants and I'm like, wow, aren't people 
incredibly creative. I wish I had some of that creative juice, right? <laughs> but uh, not to waste any more time, guys, um, we are going to our final category, and that is the essay competition. <laughs> And so, to announce the shortlist, the names are as follows. Our first name on the shortlist is Titus Maluyana Abongda. Second one is Jessica Njadila. Nyenyokpon Emmanuel Ekanem. Victoria Nduka. And finally, Terence Mawaka. So those are our shortlists. So let's go straight into our winners. I think our IT team just needs to go straight to the winners. Awesome. So in third place, it is my absolute pleasure to announce that the winner of the essay competition in third place is Jessica Njadila. Congratulations. And in second place, it's getting exciting is Nyanyik Pon Emmanuel Ekanem. Congratulations and well done. <laughs> and finally, the winner of the ESSEC competition for 2021 is FCFTA creative competition is Terence Mawanga. Congratulations, Terence. <laughs> so, Terence, if you are on the call, please um, put your video on, and mic, and um, I think you're going to share with us a snippet from your essay. So, I really do look forward to that. Terence? Seems like we may not necessarily have Terence on the line. Um, so we will, I think, contact him and see if there's some few words that he'll probably share, but um, congratulations to him once again. And maybe let's just recap who our winners are for the essay competition. So to recap, oh, do we have? No. Do we have Terence on the line? Thought I heard, no, okay, not. Okay, so I think let's 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 just recap the winners. Thanks. So to recap, the winners of the essay competition are in third place, Jessica Njadila, in second place, Nyanik. Pon Emmanuel Ekanem, and in, and in first place, Terence Mawanga. Congratulations to you. I'm sure you're going to be able to spend the hard earned prize money.
And as our event draws to a close, I'd like to give um, Yusuf Daya, um, director at Afism Bank, the opportunity to share some words and just some closing remarks. Yusuf, over to you. Thank you. You're on mute, Yusuf. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Grant. And <clears throat> good evening, everyone, from uh, a very cold Cairo. Uh, I think uh, as a start, let me just express our appreciation to, to Yalda for putting the entire campaign together, not just today's event. And a big congratulations to, to all the winners. From the African Export Import Bank, it has been a distinct pleasure working with Yalda on this initiative. And I think the fruits and the innovation and bright ideas of Africa's youth is, is evident in the, in the results and the winners we see today. And in fact, not only the winners, but all the submissions we received and, and had to go through, it just shows the enthusiasm of, of Africa's youth. You know, it is Africa's youth that will ensure that the AFCFTA delivers on, on its ambition of promoting economic development, structural transformation and industrial development. Uh, Africa has the highest rate of potential entrepreneurs globally at around 56%. It is Africa's youth that will become the next generation of entrepreneurs, industrialists, and innovators accelerating the transformation of our economies by trading, working, and deploying their skills across the continent. It is our youth that will inject the economic dynamism and act as a catalyst for change that can drive economic transformation and sustainable development that the continent so desperately needs. This is especially so in the context of the fourth industrial revolution and increase, increasing digitalization where our young and innovative population holds our greatest and inexhaustible natural resource, ideas and ambition. So nurturing this resource through education, through information, through training, through access to finance and partnerships, as we've done through Yalda and this engagement is essential if the full benefits of an integrated Africa are to be realized and we are able to deliver not only the Africa we want as stipulated in Agenda 2063, but the Africa our youth deserve. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Yusuf, for those words. And I think it's just a really important time to congratulate all the participants who took the time to submit an entry into the competition. Um, every single effort is acknowledged, um, and we'd like to sincerely thank all of all of the participants. Uh, I'm sure Yusuf will agree with me when I say it was very, very difficult for the adjudication panel to essentially come up with the winners. It was a really close race. So, so really just a, another sense of congratulations, and thank you, Yusuf, for the support that yourself and the Afrism Bank has given us to be able to host a competition of this nature. But I do have some really awesome news. Um, we have Terence. So we're gonna try and see if we can't get patch Terence into the call and maybe Terence can just give us a little bit of a, a taste of his submission uh, in the essay competition. So, so I think our IT team, if uh, you can just help with Terence there. Hello, Terence, can you hear us? Mm, I think we're still struggling with network issues. Uh, 
Hello, Terence, can you hear us? Yes, I Hello? Can. I guess, to be in this sort of position. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I see it's the African youth, it's the steps in now, not necessarily in the future. So I'm excited about the prospect uh, for, for the continent in the end of capable young people. And um, I'm, I'm massively thankful for this one. I think uh, there's a lot to be, to be done. Of course, in order to make the, the state conducive for young people to be involved uh, in the AFTA, but I think already we have some of the roles on the ground. And young people really are teaming with ideas, eating agriculture, eating agriculture, or in the in manufacture. It's all thank you for, for, for the opportunity, thank you for the honor, really. And yeah, so I have to say thank you. Awesome, thank you very much, Terence. And just to recap, I'd like to say congratulations to every one of our winners today. Um, effort well done. Now, as our event draws to a close, I'd like to once again congratulate all participants who made an effort to enter the competition and put themselves forward to contribute in their own way towards the achievement of the goals of the AFCFTA. A special thank you goes to our winners. Um, and of course, to our partners who together allowed us to make this happen. But the fun doesn't stop there. And I urge you all to watch this space, keep updated and follow our social media platforms because we have a lot more in store for you in 2022. For example, we have the AFCFT survey coming up and we really want all of you to participate and bring your perspectives around how we can contribute to the Africa we want. And finally, Yelder is always looking for young people to support our work across the continent and the diaspora. And you could be a part of that, whether it's being a part of our publicity team, our program teams, or branch teams, there are always something exciting things to do. Thus, if you want to be a part of this amazing team, then make sure you stay in touch and watch our social media updates. And so that's me. On behalf of Yalda, its partners, and my co-host, Hasiba Hamza, Grant Davis, signing off. I wish you all a wonderful 2022 and an awesome evening. Thank you so much. <laughs>